welcome back to my channel it's me Karen it's been a while since I've sat down with you guys and welcome to my new home I moved about a month or so ago before I went to Asia and it took a while for me to just settle in this space so that I can sit at home and film with you guys again and the second announcement I want to make before we jump right into the favorites is guys I've been nominated and I've won as Teen Vogue's Beauty Game Changer Award and there's an article in the description box right now that you can go check out uh, with all of my favorite beauty products as of late so go ahead and drop that box open check out the article it would mean the world to me that I get to celebrate this with you guys and without further ado, let's just jump right into the favorites. I'm going to start off with a no-brainer, my favorite color at the moment, mustard. Although this is not exactly mustard, it's definitely more of a yellow. And the reason why I want to show this to you guys is because I forgot to insert this in my Japan haul winter lookbook type of dealio. This was actually a really long oversized hoodie and I cropped it, chopped it probably up to like where normal crop top would stop and I absolutely love cropped hoodies at the moment. They're like the answer to not looking lazy and baggy in the winter while staying warm in my opinion. If you're still worried about cold draft going up your sweater, I recommend wearing like a really tight tank top inside and just tuck it into your bottoms and you're all good to go. And then another hoodie that I've been wearing nonstop with my sweats because mind you, I'm a lazy person and I love living in my sweats. I got this at Brandy Melville and it's another cropped hoodie, except this one actually came like it's cropped. Honestly, you can just like go and thrift a hoodie of your choice that you really like and just snip it up and then tug on the ends after you snip it and then it'll give you this naturally curled effect here and I think it's really cute. My second favorite clothing item is this skirt right here I got from Wego in Japan. This was basically the only bottom that I wore while I was in Japan. It's really comfortable because it's like it's stretchy in the back so it can eat a lot and it'll give you some room. I'm obsessed with the zipper detail in the front. I love that it's a circle. I love anything circular like my hoops. You don't ever have to worry about like showing your underwear to anybody with if you're like sitting not like a lady because there are baby shorts inside the skirt. So you're basically all covered all around. So I've been really into this whole like darker, grungier look lately and I think a great way to not freeze your butt off in the winter while wearing skirts is pairing it with a really cute pair of netted stockings. Mine are actually from Nasty Gal and they have really cute little gems and jewels here just kind of splattered everywhere for a bit of accent. I think these are really versatile and great pieces to kind of mix and match in your closet this winter season. So if you were to ask me what my favorite flower is, I think you might be able to tell by what I'm wearing right now. I've noticed this rose trend has been popping around a lot in the past half year to a year and now it's really made its way onto clothing and not just tattoos. A little personal story though, the reason why I personally love roses is because of tuxedo mask and every time he, um, he comes save the day with a splash of a rose, it's been stuck with me, that symbol of rose, like the symbol of love and courage and justice has always been around this flower for me. So now that roses are a really big thing in clothes, it just works out really well. Now I get to rock roses everywhere. So it's a no-brainer that this beret is my favorite of the month. I think it just pulls together any look and make it look extra sophisticated or extra put together. It's kind of like wearing those netted uh, stockings. If you put those on and put on a pair of hoop earrings and a beret, I feel like your outfit has to be good. And the next item that I'm really into lately are these boots that I picked up from Nasty Gal. They're like, they look like vintage combat boots and the reason why I love these is because one, the heel isn't too high so I can actually wear these all day long and they're quite comfortable. And second, I'm really into how the laces go all the way to the almost to the tip of the shoe. That kind of gives you the more of the military look and it pulls together the whole rocker chic look that I'm really into this winter. The next item that I'm really obsessed with is this jacket that I'm wearing right now. I love this velour material and I actually show it in my winter haul book thing. I love that it's oversized 
I love the color and also love the fact that you can flip it inside out and it's a reversible jacket. clothing item I'm obsessed with right now is actually from the Iraqi collection for Supreme. This is my favorite model. It's Kiko. I wish I got this hoodie. I wish I got everything from this book. Okay, so the shirt that Kiko is wearing right now is a shirt that I own, but I'm currently not holding it up because it's currently being washed. I love black shirts at the moment or white shirts or yellow or red. This is just super versatile. You can wear it literally with anything. But you'll see that I wear this shirt and change up my skirt, change up my jacket, and got a whole new outfit like that. While I was in Japan, I met up with a friend, his name is Carl, and I'll link his Instagram in the description box below. He's really influenced me to start taking film camera photos. It's kind of similar to like what I said a long time ago in one of my favorites videos where I wanted to start taking Polaroid pictures. Also approach Instagram in the same way where I'm capturing the moment as is without worrying about a grid and so forth. I feel like this is taking it to the next level though because now this is print, it's not even digital at all. Like once a moment is captured in real time, it's stuck and imprinted in my film roll. And I love that idea because I won't really get to touch and feel that moment until I develop the roll again. Once we printed the photos out, it really encapsulate that moment and it's it really does feel like it's been stored forever in a physical copy that you can hold and feel and you know that you snap that and there's no way you could have reviewed it or delete it or alter it or facetune it or whatever. It is what it is. There's just a couple pictures that Leo took of me and I took too that we decided to print out and have a memory of us in Japan in 2016 while we met our friend Carl. Here's another one of me sleeping and this is the Airbnb that Leo and I stayed in along with Michelle and Dom. Here's one of Family Mart. Here's just Dom hanging out in the corner and then me waking up in the morning when I got out of bed. Finally, this is the view from outside our hotel room. This is the Tokyo Tower if I remember correctly. This is Carl by the way. That's him. And this is the arcade that we went to. I really miss Japan. Like flipping through these photos just makes me realize time never, never wavers for us, but there's still a way for us to remember and steal that moment and take it with us forever in the future. So the first guy is this foundation, but it's not really a foundation foundation because this has SPF 15 in it and it's more of a balm. And I say it's more of a balm because it does have more of a lotion consistency and when you blend it out on your skin, it gives you a light amount of coverage, but for me, it's enough and it allows your skin to breathe through. Um, it looks glowy, it looks super natural. I love the finish and how healthy my skin looks after this guy. I think a good dupe of this one though is the BB Cream by NYX Cosmetics. Um, now the second beauty item that I'm so obsessed with and you guys might have seen me do a tutorial on my Snapchat already on this eye look is from Lime Crime's Venus palette. I know that Lime Crime has had drama on the internet but it doesn't take away how much I love the colors in this palette. So I just wanted to show you guys. Obviously you don't have to go and buy this palette, but if you want to create like a look like this, then I'd recommend going for um, shades that are similar to the Lime Crime palette. This one was gifted to me, so I felt like it would be such a waste if I didn't use it. I think it does a really great job creating this red eye look that I'm super, super obsessed with right now. The colors are also super, super pigmented. I barely tapped it and I mean, you can't hate on good pigmentation. So moving on to movie favorites, I'm gonna have to say 10 things I hate about you that I saw on Netflix with Julia Stiles. Can't remember who the male counterpart was, but it was a movie filmed straight out of the 90s and oh my gosh, it was just so super nostalgic. I love the outfits 
in the movie. I loved the way it was shot. I love the entire storyline. It was just a really good rom-com. I don't know, I feel like rom-coms nowadays aren't as good as the ones back in the 90s just because I think the 90s were cheesier so it was okay that it was set in a cheesier era. Now that we're in like late 2010s, I feel like our TV has definitely gotten a lot darker, kind of like House of Cards, Orange is the New Black. And whenever we try to do rom-com nowadays, it's just so cheesy and tacky. So never been a huge rom-com person except for the 90s rom-com. And 10 Things I Hate About You is, I think, a really great rom-com that doesn't make you feel cringe. It's a really good movie in my opinion, so definitely go check it out. It's still on Netflix if I, if I remember correctly. Well, you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching through all of this. It always means a lot when you guys actually watch through and then answer the question. Leave a comment below. So for this month's favorite question, well, yeah, what do you want them to tell us? Did you hear that? We want to know what your favorite ice cream flavor is. Okay, so my all-time favorite is always vanilla. I'm very basic like that. But my favorite of this month is pistachio. There, there's a new ice cream shop that opened just around the corner of where I lived, and oh my gosh, they have the best pistachio ice cream ever. So let me know what your favorite ice cream flavor is in the comments section below. And if you happen to have a Snapchat, or an Instagram, or a Facebook, whatever just add me soundcloud you'll find me at the username i am karino and i update there all the time i'm also planning on doing giveaways on my snapchat so if you want to win some stuff just stay tuned make sure you follow me on my snapchat and my instagram so you know those giveaways are coming out throughout the week all right i'll see you guys in my next video make sure you subscribe if you haven't more fashion videos coming up next all right talk to you guys later bye i love you